Hello everybody! My name's Zerman and welcome to the world of Minecraft. But not we're not just doing any world of Minecraft today. We are looking at a countdown to zero. So you guys are probably familiar with the common Minecraft by now. Under the company Mojang, created originally by the one and only Notch, now being run by Dinnerbone, Jeff, and uh, various other people. As you can see, my Zero skin, but anyway, this game has consumed probably more time in my life than any other game ever, and that's saying a lot. It might have actually taken up more time than I've put into every game ever. I'm not quite sure. I know it's the only game I've ever put over a thousand hours into. And I have no idea how much time I've put into this game, but anyway, that's not the point. Minecraft indie hit that has a very blocky and interesting style. Everything looks just odd. Nothing's quite right with the world because, well, it's all chunky and everything's really low res texturing and I'm not sure if that's a flaw or a benefit to Minecraft. So, I honestly can't say one way or the other on that, but as per normal, I'm going to state at least three good things, three bad things about Minecraft. With the good. Minecraft, no matter how many times you play it, no matter how many times you go through a world, it'll always be different. The game's never the same way twice. Now, you could say, oh, well, it gets repetitive. Well, yeah, it can. It can. But the game itself... It just... It's always a new experience. I think that's what I'm looking for. It's always something different, something unique. And even though it's the same materials, the same stuff, it's always got some new experience to offer, especially if you're playing with friends. It has entirely new experiences and things you can do. And that's part of why I love the game so much, is because you don't know when you're going to hit that cavern, or when you're going to go and find that random diamond or dungeon, or if you're going to just stumble into an ender portal, or just kind of weird stuff like that. I think without that, Minecraft probably wouldn't get 99% of the love that it actually does. So that's probably the biggest, I don't know, bonus, benefit, uh, advantage of Minecraft is the fact that it's just constant. You don't know what's going to happen. Second off, it's one of the few games that just lets you say go crazy. The only thing that limits you is number one, your computer, and Number two, well, just, um, your imagination. So if you can imagine it, you can build it. If I want to build a giant sky dragon, I can build a giant sky dragon. All it takes is skill and materials, which if I was in creative mode, I'd have the materials, so all I would need is skill, which I'm sorely lacking in. Ow! Good lord, there's gravel there. That was not fun. Anyway... My third favorite thing about Minecraft... Oh... I have to say, it's the only game I've ever seen that can span multiple generations of people. Now, you could argue that and say that, oh, Mario, oh, Sonic, but I'm talking about just currently. It's a game that can be u played by pretty much anybody. A game that can pretty much 
be used for anything. It could be used as a teaching tool. It could be used as... Well... I don't know. Just a resource. Actually, um, project... There's a few projects out there that are dedicated to just rebuilding certain areas of the world and designing different things. And there's some awesome people out there making gigantic, realistic maps of, like, cities and various such things. And I have to say, Minecraft could either be really silly or it can be super serious, depending on who you are, who you work with depending on whether you're good friends or you're just kind of randomly meeting people. And and that goes back into what I said before, is it's a different experience every single time. I've never had one game of Minecraft be the exact same as another game, just because of the randomness, the people I'm with, how I play the game, what I find, it's just what I build with it. So it's just... I think that's why Minecraft's so great, is because number one, it can do pretty much anything, and two, it's just so unique in so many different ways that just nothing could possibly touch it. Nothing could even come close to kind of what Minecraft is, even though a lot of games have tried. And they've done fairly good job, but meh. They just can't capture what Minecraft really did first, even though Minecraft's kind of, you know, based off of other stuff. So, this is where I get into the nitpicky part of Minecraft. Number one! I'm... Mm, I understand why the art style is the way it is, but I still don't like it. I'm not a fan of the art style. I don't... I find it particularly ugly. I know you can get mod, not mods, but like texture packs and stuff to make it look at least a little better, but eh, I think that kind of defeats the purpose. It's just the fact that, well, this is how the game was meant to look, and it just doesn't look that good at any point. It just looks terrible at pretty much every point, which, eh... It's, once again, debatable for some people, but I just don't I just don't like how Minecraft looks at all. I've had texture packs in the past, and it's just... I've just never found one I've really fell in love with. Just the game always looks ugly to me, no matter what you do to it. Oh, number two. The game kills PCs. I've never found a PC ever that's liked Minecraft in any variation or version. Every PC I've ever seen hates Minecraft. My PC hates Minecraft. I'm running at a ridiculously low frame rate right now, even though I have an incredibly overpowered PC. So, that's just issues with the coding, issues with running it with uh, JavaScript and various other different issues and problems with the code and just how the game works in and of itself. So I've never been a fan of the frame rate or just how it runs in general. It's laggy, it's buggy, it's... Ugh. I've actually had some moments where you just kind of wonder what the heck is going on just because of the craziness that's happening. And, like, and clipping through things, animals clipping through things, you clipping through things. That's extremely commonplace. It happens far too often for, well, my pl pleasure, displeasure. It's just not one of those things that I like too well. And number three. Number three. What could I possibly hate on. Oh, it's not a fault of the game, but I'd have to say at... I'd probably have to say the community. The community for Minecraft is possibly one of the worst things in all of existence. Just because of the fact that, well, they act like a bunch of children. I don't know if you've ever seen... Yogg's cast or 
Gosh, who else does Minecraft anymore? I have no idea. But the fans of Minecraft just... There's two sets of them. There's the really creative people that have fun with Minecraft and they build things and they have fun with friends and you never really hear about them. And then you hear about all the whiny little 12-year-olds screaming about Minecraft and howling at every YouTuber to play it. Which, once again, is a problem with the reputation of Minecraft, not the actual game itself, because I can't find a third flaw with it outside of frame rate issues and just how the game looks. I really can't pick at it anymore because that's pretty much all the things. And yet, I somehow strangely like this game. It's odd. It's different. It's ugly as sin. And it doesn't run worth crap on anything that's ever been made ever, but I've still put more time into it than any other game ever. And y you may ask why. It's just, there's something strangely addicting about it. There's something strangely addicting about playing with your friends and building up something and s making something concrete. Just gathering blocks and building something. Sh having some kind of endless amount of display for the effort you put in. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what I like most, is the fact that you can put a bunch of effort in, and at the end of the day, you can actually see it. Whereas in other games, because of their limitations, you're only allowed to do so much. In Minecraft, you could pretty much just build anything you want. And I think that's probably the major charm of it. And that's probably why I'm so addicted to it. Even though I haven't played all that much of it recently, this is some of the first I've played in maybe a week or so now. So, when it comes down to Minecraft, I have to be extremely considerate of what kind of score I give it, just because I don't want to let my personal bias color the game too much. I have to say that if this were a year ago, I would probably be going up one wall and down the other with Minecraft and just plowing into the ground with a bad score. But since Notch has kind of backed away from it and Jeb has took over and the game's just kind of been slowly built up, slowly added on with different things like uh, clay, like the clay, the horses, the um, the wool, just bringing in modders some of the best modders to actually work on the game instead of it just being Notch staring at everyone and saying, this is mine, you can't touch it. I think that was probably the best thing they could have done for Minecraft, is get Jeb and all the modders to actually work on the game. So, I have to debate on it. And it's a very hard score to give. In all honesty... The game probably gets an 8 out of 10. Now, the reasons why being that even though it's a good game and it's fun and it's addicting, it still has tons of issues with PCs. Not as much as it used to have, but it still has tons of issues. I I have a friend with a, another gaming computer, whereas... And mine actually has, even though it's a slightly worse processor, it's still a top-line processor, and my, I have a better video card. Well, here's the thing. On his machine, we could run almost a thousand frames constant with all everything on, and with mine, I can run maybe 120 constant, 120, 200 constant with everything on, which just proves there's issues with the coding, there's still issues with the game itself. There's still tons of issues with the online, just because of, you know, indie company, there's no set servers, so that's a bit of a problem. And just the fact that this game isn't... Uh, endearing? Beautiful? I don't know, I just... Just one point down for the code, and another point down for the aesthetics, which you could bash me for the aesthetics all you want. I really don't care. That's my personal opinion. So, even with an 8 out of 10, I say this game is a must-play. 
8 out of 10, and the issues that it has, it is a must-play just once, at least. At least until you find a diamond. Once you find a diamond, you can quit the game, but you, if you haven't played Minecraft, I guarantee you'll at least have a little bit of fun searching for stuff. Now, the game does get old after a while. If you're not an extremely creative type, or if you're not building towards a goal, it can get extremely boring, extremely annoying. Just farming, 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 farming. So the game isn't for everyone. It's it's either for the dedicated or the fanatical. There really is no in-between on that fact. But that's my personal views on Minecraft, and hopefully you got a little bit of insight out of that as we watch the moon slowly descend from the sky. But I have been the Zero Man, guys. This has been Countdown to Zero of Minecraft. And until next time, that's very nice everything you have there. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it.